up we were talking about this top dogger and I'm like because I'm thinking about some things at my wedding so let's get right into this top dogger this morning besides the big game newlyweds Emerson and John they are breaking the internet over their set of unconventional rules they set up at their wedding so some of these were no kids no plus ones for singles. Okay, I had both of those. Um, if you and your date break up, you no longer get a plus one. Okay. No physical gifts, cash only. Don't agree with that one. If guests didn't attend the ceremony, oh, they couldn't attend the reception. Love this. No changing seats and no taking the centerpieces. And guests were not allowed to post their photos before the couple. So, Ido, what do you say I do or do you say I don't to these rules? Okay, some of them I do agree with. Okay, like what? Um, I guess if you say no kids, no kids, you want it to be an adult function, yeah. I get that. No changing seats, people work on there. <sighs> this is very close to my heart. I know Hefe is like, oh. No, you're not going to bring it up. Oh, yes. <laughs> I am going to bring it up. Someone did okay. change seats. Yes, tell, tell us the story of the person that changed seats. Well, I'm not going to say their name, but okay. here's the thing. I worked on that seating chart. Mm -hmm. My mom is probably getting fired up about this, too. I worked on it for hours <laughs> because I'm all about conversation, yeah. flow, who likes who, where are you going to be? This is not the couple, by the way. It's just file video. But um, where are you going to be seated? Mm -hmm. People get offended. It was a lot of stress. Like, yeah. I took a day off of work to do this stupid seating. Trip. Oh. Yeah, I configured it. I did, like, I mean, a lot. Mm -hmm. I put a thought. I made this thing. I printed it. It was sitting there. This person not only had their kid come, they weren't supposed to have a plus <laughs> one. <laughs> they brought their child. No offense to this darling child. They then had the audacity to get into it with my wedding planner, not get the kid's meal. Oh. They then had the audacity to change the seating <laughs> arrangement. And so as of this, I never got to meet one of my husband's dearest friends because oh, I didn't this know that. jerk changed the seating. He's, I, I'm just like, no, no, he's on my bad side. Yeah, you don't want to be on Maggie's bad side at all. <laughs> as you all know, because <laughs> I'm feisty <laughs> Frenchie and I was, but it's just so rude. That is, yeah, because you did put in so much work I into that. In so much work. So much thought. And it was and then, so expensive of a wedding. And I then mean, he gets parents, into it with a wedding planner? He did. He was rude to the wedding planner. What and did he I, say? I don't know for sure, but yeah. it was about the kid's meal. Like, his kid didn't deserve a kid's meal. I mean, my parents gifted us the wedding. It was so expensive. Yeah. Like, you just don't do that. It's just rude. Yeah. And I was big on no plus ones unless you're engaged or getting married because I've been a plus one. One and I, I ended up in the pictures. Yeah, <laughs> I get I that. I wasn't even there for the first anniversary. Yeah. I, I want to also go back to this no physical gifts thing. What I don't did, like that. I didn't like that one either. That was rude. Like, I appreciate cash, but I also love to unwrap a gift. And I also, but now I get, so I used to be anti-registry. I was like, you can't, but now I get it. Yeah. Like people register, especially for baby things. Yeah. There's a reason why you register, so I will never go off of the off of the registry. <laughs> I get it now. Lesson learned. Thank you. Um, yeah. Also, posting the photo before the couple, that's very controlling. That was controlling. I'm actually surprised they didn't ask to approve the photos before oh. they were posted. I didn't really care about that. I had so much fun. I didn't have my phone. Uh -huh. I always think it's very interesting when couples Instagram or post. There was one bride here that I saw. She had, she's in the media. She had her producer <laughs> Facebook Live her entire wedding. What? <laughs> yeah. I'm not naming names. My mom that. and I were here for it because I was like, this, I wouldn't do the ego, right? Right. Some people go Facebook Live. Do you guys really care that much? You they, wanted to see the dress. dress. Yeah, obviously. yeah, they want to see the dress and maybe the, dress. the Santa Princess and the decor because you want to get ideas, right? Right. But to well, you're just live nosy. stream it. Live stream. And have your producer, who's your bridesmaid that you just <gasps> use, live stream. Come she on, was honey. your bridesmaid? I'm just saying. I. <laughs> Okay, no, but you know what? In my wedding, we we are um, LDS, right? And so kids welcome, run all over the place, right? And if you actually, it's the opposite. A lot of people aren't invited to the ceremony. That one's That's more sacred, intimate. Right? Yes, 
but anybody can come to the reception. So I thought that was interesting that they flip-flopped it. If you weren't at the ceremony, you cannot come to the reception. I mean, I was here for the ceremony because walking down the aisle in the church, mm -hmm. and it was so beautiful, and to me, that's the most important mm -hmm. part. Yeah. I, it was funny, when I was planning my wedding, I booked the church and the priest before I booked the, rehe or the ceremony. Yeah. At the, what is it called? Reception. Oh, yeah, and yeah. And people were like, wait, what? I can't believe you did that. You should book the reception. And I said, no. Really? The sacrament is what is the most yeah, important Yeah, exactly. To me. And I was here for that walk down the aisle. <laughs> like, let's be real. Mama waited a long time. <laughs> I was 38. Like, Mama waited a long time. And she was beautiful, Thank everybody. You. Thank just you. Just absolutely so you. gorgeous. And I just think. Uh, yeah, some of these I don't agree with. I do, yeah, but you know what? It's their wedding. It's their friends. Their and friends have know to know with they them. Are. Yeah. Like if you're friends with this bride, you're like, oh, she's that bride. Yeah, that was way. I, I, but I also kind of see the groom kind of putting in. You know, there can be groomzillas. Yeah, exactly. I mean, they get into this whole thing. Yeah, my husband got into the colors, and I was just like, I don't care. Yeah, you were very laid back. You're, I was so laid back. Mother-in-law. My mother-in-law planned my whole wedding, and I'm so grateful for her. She made it so lovely, so nice. I think she let people take home the centerpieces too. So she's amazing. Whoa. Yeah. Well, sorry <laughs> if you can't. <laughs> I don't know who took the centerpieces. I don't even know. <laughs> they were beautiful. I, because my mom, the biggest piece of advice was like, honey, after the reception, leave for your honeymoon. Just get out of here. Oh, don't that's worry so nice. about it. Just go to the hotel, go on your honeymoon. Don't stick around. You don't have to see people and do oh, all that. Oh, that's beautiful. And yeah, and we just went up into the sun. And my parents took care of everything. Thank I just, you. I just wasn't a girl that grew up thinking about her wedding. I just did not dream I of it. I didn't either. Some people had binders. I yeah. knew this one girl in um, college. She had a binder. I didn't wow. either. Yeah, my mom always stressed not a wedding fund, which there are wedding funds in Texas especially. I didn't have any idea. I always stressed, and my mom did education. That was what was so oh, important. That's great. Getting an education. Yeah, yeah exactly. So, anywho, yeah.